first and foremost, obviously, this is this was an awesome trip for us. And I think that uh, everybody here did an unbelievable job. I think our guys, uh, I'm sure they're ready and excited to go back to campus, but I think they really they really enjoyed it. They've asked several times about, can we stay here for another week? I think the food was awesome. I think the convenience of, of you know where everything was, they could walk down in the morning. Um, I think it uh, it was a really good. I'm the same way. I think if we could stay here another week, I would love it. You know. I'm sure my family would love it too, so I can stay away. Um, but I think we got a lot done. Uh, it'll be it'll be a challenge for us to go back to campus, change up the routine a slight bit. Now it's a little bit more about being disciplined in your travel, going home, going to bed, a lot of the things that are going on. But uh, all in all, I'd say a really, really good first six days, really competitive to the edge where guys are challenged, you know, to a point where they almost lose their emotion, but they've done a really, really good job. Um, obviously, it'll get more challenging as you get to 7, 8, 9, 10 when the minds start to go a little bit more. Um, but I probably couldn't be more excited about what, uh, what it is we got done here in, in our, our seven days here. What do you like about what you've seen from Braylon in this first week? Obviously, you had high expectations from him coming in. It, it, it's a tough situation for Braylon because I think that without going live, without going some of those situations, it's hard to get that flow going. I mean, you could see it tonight when all of a sudden he does get a run and you can't tackle, but you, you know he's going to be tough to tackle in some of those open space situations. And you can just feel the energy and the momentum. So I think that's really hard on offense when you've got a guy and a weapon like that and you can't get it going just because of the nature of how we go about things. You know, the challenge is right now is still being able to be efficient throwing the football. We believe that we're going to be able to be efficient at running the football. So I think sometimes that's a, a bit of a challenge for the running backs. Um, so it, it's, it's a little bit more of a mental game for them, but you can definitely feel the energy when all of a sudden you can get that guy going. Uh, Muma, no, I think that uh, they said he'd be back to practice uh, when we go back to campus. So two days from now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, we'll, we'll be smart, but they'll have a big club on his hand, and I think he'll be able to be able to go and see what he can do. Um, he obviously went the, the, the two days when he still had before he had before he had a quick uh, quick little surgery procedure done um, but you know he's played a lot of ball so he's not one of those guys who are like in a rush to get back I mean, he gives a lot of opportunities for some of those young guys um, but it's hard on a guy like Muma who wants to be in there every single snap so we'll uh, we'll hold him back a little bit but we'll have an opportunity to get him back out there I know it's a challenge for coaches over the years as the rules are changing camp and everything but how do you go about practicing tackling without beating on your guys too much here in these four weeks I think you just got to get a feel like it. When you got a young team, you probably think you got to tackle a little bit more. When you got an older team, you got to think that they've had experience and you probably don't need to tackle them as much. They're a young team to me because we're new. Um, but you get a lot of feel for how guys can tackle based on just the way we practice. So after six days, I would probably say I'm not sure that we would live up the ones even when we go our, our two big scrimmages. I don't know for sure. Maybe we'll do it in some situations. Um, but I really feel good about where we are uh, and our ability to leverage the football, our ability to close some space defensively, and then even offensively about how many hits they're taking and can they take care of the football. Because that, to me, is every bit as much. Everybody talks about tackling if you don't go live in practice. It's a lot about ball security if you don't go live in practice. And I think if you've been here, you've seen that you know those, those, there's challenges and guys, wide receivers are getting hit because DBs are going for balls, and that's what you want to have happen because then you probably don't have to go in those live situations. You want wide outs to catch the ball and get thudded up really hard, you know, in some of those situations. So now you recognize that you probably don't need to go live because you're challenging the ball security and all those things. How do you manage your expectations heading into camp versus what you see every day so far? And then you to grade camp as a whole so far. What was the better grade? I don't know that we would grade it. I think that the, the facility and what we got done here was an A. You know, I'm not saying that our team is anywhere close to an A. That has nothing to do with it. I mean, even us as coaches and how we do things. Um, but I think management of expectations is, is just, we don't talk a whole lot about it. We know what our expectations are every day. And that's why we don't talk about goals. We talk about those objectives. The objectives are things that we can measure on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. And, and there's no really talk about big time expectations and goals. We've talked about it one time. It's about playing for a championship. And we don't really get into it anymore. It's all about the process. And I think, and I hope and believe that, I know it keeps me focused, and I hope and believe it keeps our guys focused as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that uh, it's hard to tell sometimes. I mean, obviously, he didn't get to go the whole time because he doesn't want to be away. Those are, those are tough situations. 
Um, but I think more than anything for him as a, as a all around coach, I think he gets to experience a lot of different things, you know, and it's, it's more about observations because every different place you go, maybe you get to do more, maybe you don't get to do as much, but if you use it the right way, you get a lot of observations about just demeanors and how people interact with players and, and things like that, more so than I think schematic things. And I think that's what makes great coaches is not just they bring back some schematic, but they bring back some, some way or somehow that it got connected or some little things that they do that far outweigh some of the schematic things. Okay. Is it just one, I know it's just one week, but are you getting a better feel for how much depth you can have where you keep talking about playing 22 and 22? I, I, think, I think we're getting a feel for that depth. I mean, it, until we can get into some more situations like this where now you can go back and evaluate some of those younger guys that we would like to say, are they a two or are they a one B? And I think our big thing is, is if we feel like they're a 1B, then we've got to be able to play 22 guys on both sides of the ball. If they're a 2, then, you know, then you've got some reservations about just making sure that they're going to get their 30 snaps. Not going to hand anything to anybody. So, so the challenge is to continue to see how they will react in, in these situations where it's much more competitive as opposed to some of the, you know, some of the drill work and things that we do. Um, so it, it's, a, it's a process. I think, like I said, I think we're in a good place in, in some some positions more than others. I think the offensive line, you feel like you're in a really good spot with trying to find that mix. The defensive line, I feel that way a little bit more about too. I think there's some other spots trying to challenge that back end to see how deep we can be. How do you, how do you assess the punting and kicking situation? We got to see a little bit of kicking this week. Saw a lot of punting. We're going to punt <laughs> every day. Um, I think they've all done it really. I think there's some better competition. I think uh, tonight was a great night. I mean, they, they hit the ball really well. Um, obviously, I, in a night like this, I would hope the day before, maybe it wasn't quite as good. Obviously, there's a little bit more wind and some things in the face. Um, and I think the next, the second part of camp will challenge the kickers a lot more. Uh, we probably were, should have done it tonight. Um, we didn't get that opportunity. I don't, you know, it was kind of just how things were rolling. Um, but we'll continue to kind of challenge those guys as we get towards the end of camp. We'll have one of those kick scrimmage situations where we'll really put those guys to the test and see where we are. Good thing you did at the end of spring. Yeah. yeah. Luke, you mentioned the defensive line depth there. How do you feel about nose guard particularly? Obviously, a position close to your heart, but just <laughs> three guys. I'm never satisfied with the nose guard. <laughs> I, I, if you're not strong down the middle in everything that you do, so that's the nose guard, that's the middle linebacker, and that's the middle field safety in a lot of situations. It's the same thing offense. If you're not strong down the middle with your center and your quarterback and that tailback, I mean, you have no place to go. So I believe we've got some depth there. It hurts us that you know we don't have Kurt here for, for a few, for maybe a few weeks. Um, but that's the challenge to those guys, to, to Gio and the, the Mullins and, and, and you know anybody else that we kind of put in those situations that, that you guys got to be the strength of what it is that we've done. And obviously, I think that if you looked at one thing, what are you missing from last year? Is that Keanu, that, that rock in the center? And, uh, I'm not saying we, we don't have it, but I think that we may have it a little bit more by committee. But um, I like to challenge those guys a lot. I think we're going to do that. Luke, I know it's only been six practices and a week down here, but both on and off the field, is there something that you learned about your team here? Yeah, I mean, I, I still think that you see how well they do things together. And um, I don't know what it was like before, but as you see there tonight, I mean, the, the challenge to – get to that point where you're really emotional and you're playing with emotion but not lose your emotions um, I was impressed tonight because that's what I start to worry as the as the early on as we put the ball down and played you know it got really 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 competitive and sometimes I'm curious how they're going to handle that thing as we get towards the end so I think if anything I, I recognize that they understand that whatever it is that we do we have to do together and we're going to challenge each other to make each other better and, and that means sometimes you've got to dominate your buddy, right? The offense has got to dominate the defense in the day to, to challenge them and, and vice versa. And uh, I think, if anything, that's what I'm noticing that, hey, we can push these guys, we can pit them against each other, they can get themselves to that point, but they've done a really good job at controlling the motions of, of things to get better. Given how satisfying this experience was for you guys, uh, is this kind of something you would hope to do again in the future coming, coming There's back no doubt. here? There's no doubt. I mean, this is. And I think when we when we go back and we you know start to talk to our guys about the evaluation of this six days, I would imagine we get a very similar feedback. Um, I've already heard a few guys say, "Hey, we should stay here longer," you know. So I, it, it is something that's very valuable to us. Um, obviously, we'll, we'll we'll see, and hopefully, we can you know kind of do this as a start, and then make sure we can take it to the next the next level as we go back to campus. Because as you go back to campus, there's a little more distractions. Um, but I think all in all, this is something we've got to continue. 
you mentioned that you like longer than a week. Is there any way based on the calendar you can do that or not? <laughs> I don't know. If we can get some, we can get maybe them to get us that first game of the year that starts on a Thursday, you know? There you go. That way, that way we can maybe be here for 10 if that's okay. based on times. Uh, I'm not saying play a week zero game. I, I don't know. I mean, I think there's obviously some, maybe some different opportunities, but yeah. um, nonetheless, whatever it is that we would get, this is, this is valuable to us. You see the Cam Large on the sideline here in street clothes. What's the situation with him? Is it injury or is it? He's, still, he's, he's, he's just rehabbing. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. I, I mean, again, will he make, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not positive, um, but I can tell you this, that he's doing a phenomenal <laughs> job. Um, if he doesn't come back and play football and he wants to coach, I think we would hire him tomorrow. Uh, that's just the way I feel. I, mean, I don't know. I've known him for eight months, and and uh, he is incredibly passionate about what he's doing, and he's finding a way to make his team better. I say a lot of guys have been very complimentary of the food here. <laughs> what, what, what's been your favorite food here? I, I, I don't know. I, they asked me that on, on the way out. I, I really probably the steak the other night, but everybody was raving about the calzones. I try not to uh, go to the night snack. Um, that was a night snack, so I missed that one. Um, there's, it's, that's what's hard. It's, it's been really, really, really good. And you can tell the pride that they take in what it is that they do. Um, and uh, it's been impressive. Good. All right. Excellent. Excellent.